We're back with part two of tiling our hallway. So we're hoping to get this last row of missing tile laid today and all the tile in the laundry area and that might be quits. We're just gonna try to do one bag of mortar and I think that's about as far as it's gonna go. We already got started by pre-cutting some tiles for the laundry area. We just did that to save time because if we get the mortar mixed, it's going to be slow to cut all these kind of tricky shapes and we don't want our mortar setting up on us while we're yeah. slowly cutting tiles. And this is for around the drain, we'll show you. So here's the drain and I have it stuffed up with some uh, rags and I got tape over some of the screw holes and stuff. We just don't want to get a lot of mortar stuffed in there. So it worked out that the tiles got cut like a corner off each one. Yeah, that made it a lot easier. If it ended up like in the middle of one, that would have been really difficult for us. And I cut these on my tile saw, believe it or not. All I did was kind of chip away at it with the blade and then slid it along the edge of the blade and then I used my orbital sander just to smooth it out and I got a nice round, you can see it against my shirt, a round cut that hopefully will look good around that floor drain. We're trying a little bit thicker mix than we had last time and I don't know. I think it'll be better. We'll, we'll try it. Who knows? Maybe I'll like the watery mix better. Maybe. Belle, did you let the cow in the house again? No. What does that mean? Why are you putting that there? Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Confused. And I'm kind of going to get them laid out. I intentionally push down extra hard on these tiles because I want them to kind of make sure they're going toward that drain, at least in that one area. That went actually really well. I'm super happy with how those turned out. So this was good for a change to have a smooth start, right? Yeah. Don't show it too close up. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't want to push these too hard because my experience is the small ones always push down easier than the big ones. So now that the washer dryer nook is done, we're going to come back down here and work our way up. Mm -hmm. Or down. <laughs> yeah. So this door sits a little bit low and I'm not going to be able to get the tile under it where I want. So I'm going to go ahead and trim it a little bit, just a little. Sixteenth. 
So I got these pieces pre-cut to go in here. Everything's going really smoothly today, much better than the other night. It probably helps that we're starting earlier in the day than late at night. Yeah. This one's tight, but it'll be fine. Okay. This isn't hard, but it is difficult. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. Last few tiles. And I think we're gonna be able to finish up everything we wanted to do with this bag of mortar. Yeah, super smooth project today, not taking a long time. I think we're happy. So we're done with the tile, we're done cleaning up. We accomplished our goals so fast today. That's awesome, it almost makes me wanna get more done. We'll probably work on Maverick's room, honestly. And we haven't been filming that, we're just papering the walls, still. Yeah. We've been slacking. <laughs> but while we're outside, we wanted to talk about the chickens, which are up here. Many of you guys know that we had way too many roosters and we wanted to thin down the flock. We just didn't need that many chickens in our uh, chicken coop. We finally found a home for our roosters. So we got rid of them and now our flock is much smaller. Um, we were able to get rid of nine of them. We yep. kept two. So we had 11 roosters altogether. We kept having uh, different counts depending on when we counted them, but we had 11. We've been wanting to get rid of them for a while now. We've been trying to find an, a solution, to be honest. It's just been hard because um, we're in an area where there's not many people who, there's not a big demand for chickens, especially roosters and there's no meat processors around us and we just weren't set up to process our own meat at this time of year especially. But we were finally able to find somebody who wanted them and it went really smooth, they came, they got them, they're out of here. It's kind of a, you know, a shame that we raised them up for so long and put so much money into them yeah. uh, that we didn't get to benefit greater from them, but we're just happy that we don't have to continue to feed them and take care of that many roosters. Yeah, because they eat a lot of feed. So as you can hear, it's a lot quieter here without all the roosters crowing constantly. And the hens are a lot more relaxed. I don't know if you can see them back there, but um, they're just, it's gonna be a lot better for all of us. We did keep two roosters, as I said. Uh, the they're best, actually both behind us. Yeah, the best looking two. We chose the roosters with the smallest waddles because that's part of that breed. It's really small waddles, really small comb so that they can withstand really cold temperatures. Um, so we got the smallest bottles and the better, the best body conformation. We wanted a nice tail, the nice body shape. Um, and good body size. Yeah. So we tried to pick out the best. We don't know if we're gonna let them breed, but we figured if we're gonna keep roosters, we might as well keep the good ones. Mm -hmm. So how many total chickens do we have right now? 18. 18. So we have 18 chickens. Two of them roosters, so we have 16 hens. Yep. So we should be getting enough eggs now, and they are producing. I think Belle just pulled in five eggs a little while ago. <laughs> so they're doing pretty good. Yeah. 
I don't know if all of them are laying yet, but they're definitely starting more and more. Mm -hmm. But yeah, chicken update. You can see it's a beautiful day out today. And got a little bit of snow still. I'm so happy. I like chickens. I like the roosters crowing, but not that much. So this is really nice. Well guys, we got it done. It was a big project. The first day was just mentally overwhelming. The second day today, it was just not that bad. It went pretty quickly, pretty smoothly. And that made me feel a lot better about doing more tiling going forward. Yeah. I think some days you just have those days where you're mentally mm -hmm. not connected to the project. But look at it, it looks really- It's awesome. Really good. And I'm straddling here because I don't want to step on our new tiles. We got this row all new and then this whole laundry area, which is looking really good, which we need to get done really soon because we got to get our laundry washed. So we're hoping to get this all grouted tomorrow. I'm holding the drain cover. I just wanted to show you guys the drain quick and how that turned out. Um, overall, the project came out really good. We definitely have mistakes. We have mess ups. It's not perfect. And you guys will say it looks really good. It looks good from a distance and that's what counts. I think up close we got some unevenness, mm -hmm. some uneven grout lines, especially around the bathroom door. We can show you some of them. We're not hiding anything. We'll show how bad it looks. <laughs> Let's do this first though. So here's the drain for the washing machine and this is just roughed in. We didn't, we didn't put the plumbing down there yet. The plumbing is going to be all hooked up. It's not just going to drain into our crawl space and this is just an emergency drain I should say that it's not for the washing machine it's for leaks yeah so this will just screw in right to this drain it's already pretty sealed in here so water would just kind of naturally go down but this screws in till it's flush with the the floor and then we're just gonna put a um, caulk around here that's going to match the grout, a sanded caulk, and it'll just look like the grout lines. This looks pretty good. Um, yeah. This seems depending on where I put it. It's a little better, a little worse, but it's pretty even. Yeah. We will be adding a threshold in front of this to uh, catch any water that's going to be in there and we're going to seal all the trim so it's going to be all watertight in here. And we will be putting a trap seal in that right? when we do the plumbing and stuff. Do you want to show them what a trap seal is? Sure. Let me get it. This is a trap seal and it's made for floor drains. Uh, this just happens to be the brand that was available locally but there are different styles. And it's basically a little one-way valve. It kind of looks like a plug. So this just has a little rubber flapper on the bottom and it's pretty weak, but uh, air, bugs, anything can't get up. But when water goes down the drain, it can easily uh, pass through. When this is all done being plumbed, that'll go right in there to pre prevent cold air and stuff uh, from coming up. And if anybody has a floor drain, um, they can dry out and these can stop the sewer gas from coming up. So. But I know you guys want to see the mistakes, so I'll try to show you some of them. In here, it actually looks really good. I think all my grout lines are pretty clean and no problems as far as uh, levelness goes. Out here, we definitely got some levelness issues. Let me see if I can catch this. Yeah. Okay, you can see it like that. This tile is low. You'd probably never notice it walking. And over here is where you can really see the unevenness of the grout lines coming out of the bathroom. This is where everything got messed up. So this one still needs to be cleaned out, but it's just the way this got pushed. You can see it's uneven right there. So this whole area, mess. Um, uh, you can see this one's tight right here. And that's because these are coming out at an angle and I had to make them work with the hallway, which is straight. We did find this little chip. We don't know when we did that, but we did chip it at some point. So otherwise it's looking good and um, I'm pretty happy with it. 
Me too. I don't think we've ever done a tile job where it's been 100% perfect. You'll find that even tiles sometimes are different sizes from each other. There'll be, we had one in the laundry area that was a little smaller than the rest. I don't know if they use different molds or whatever, but it's weird. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna wrap it up. We're done with the floor. Goals accomplished. We got rid of chickens. More goals accomplished. Yes. So we're feeling good. Today was a nice, quiet, mellow day. Uh, the chickens weren't crowing like crazy and the hens weren't being chased around like crazy. So um, it had to be done, it had to be done. So I guess that's all the updates for now. I appreciate you guys watching and until next time, take care. Bye. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm a little slow, I didn't get that at first. Me too. <laughs>